of family entertainment at that point. <laughs> you might think that was the most uh, fucked up job I ever had. Sorry, not so. That would have to go to when I was uh, delivering ice in Atlanta, um, back during the summer of the Olympics. Dates me a bit, I guess. Um, but basically, that meant I was bringing ice to all the most cracked out, ghetto-ass convenience stores in Atlanta. And I saw some really, really interesting things on that job. One that comes to mind immediately is, a, is an argument I saw between two bums fighting over a dollar. Went like this. Hey, man, did you give me that goddamn dollar, man? <laughs> Other guys like, hey, man, I ain't got your goddamn dollar. I just know nothing about me, man. I know nothing about it. No, no, no you, you give me that goddamn dollar. You dollar. Now I had a dollar on me, but uh, this was fucking entertaining and I didn't want to interrupt this witty repartee. <laughs> but I mean, that was the thing, working in the ghetto, you're delivering ice, I mean, you might, the one thing that was really tough to avoid was the onslaught of fucking crackheads everywhere. I mean, I'd be taking a little break, having a cigarette over, and then fucking one of them pops up like a goddamn gremlin. Hey, I'll suck your dick for ten dollars. No, thank you. I'm just having the cigarette. That's really all I wanted to do on my break. I mean, it's sort of like, uh, you know, I felt like a kind of a football guy, you know, except for, like, holding the ball here. I'm, I'm holding my balls here, and I'm going through the ghetto just trying to avoid it all. I'm just like, oh, oh. Hey, I suck your dick, ten dollars. Oh, no, turn to the left. Move to the right. Oh, hey, what? A hand job? 50 cents? A hand job? 50 cents? No, no, move to the left, trying to get to the truck, trying to get to the truck. I'll stick my thumb up your ass for a nickel. No, no, fucking in the truck, I made it go! <laughs> Thank you, yeah, believe me, I, it, was, it was rough. You didn't want fucking hand jobs from crackheads, you know. Um, I like to do a little uh, funny stuff now, you know. We'll start doing the funny stuff now, what the hell. <laughs> Um, I like movies. I like classic movies. Uh, Star Wars. It's a very good film. Y'all might have seen it. I don't know. came out a while ago. Um, but I was thinking, uh, wouldn't it be interesting if we threw, uh, we threw, took Mark Hamill out of it. Let's say Mark Hamill didn't play Luke Skywalker, and let's go to a weird, bizarre dimension, and let's put Keanu Reeves in. <laughs> Keanu Reeves in The Empire Strikes Back. Luke, there's something Obi-Wan never told you about your father. Huh? Luke, I am your father. No way! Yes way, Luke. <laughs> I like, uh, thank you, I like Robert De Niro, big fan of his, uh, Taxi Driver is one of my favorite movies. I like the Aqua Teen Hunger Force, right? I like Aqua Teens, fucking Meatwad. What if Meatwad was Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver? You're talking to me? <laughs> You're talking to me? <laughs> I don't see anybody else here. You must be talking to me. Look at my camera. I love The Big Lebowski. That's probably my favorite film. Uh, I love Walter and the Dude. Uh, I like to think, what if uh, we, instead of Walter and the Dude, what if it was Bert and Ernie? Mm -hmm. What? So, uh, so this rock. This rug that these guys peed on, this was a, uh, a valued possession? Well, yeah, I don't know, Bert. It, uh, it really kind of tied the room together, you know? And these fuckers, they pissed on your fucking rug. What are you guys talking about? Shut the fuck up, Elmo. Thank you. As we all know, fuck Elmo, that little red bastard. 
Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, wrestling stuff right now, get prepared. I am a huge wrestling fan. I came out of the wrestling closet years ago. Fucking Connor, nice Ultimate Warrior reference. But I, I, like, I think wrestlers are underutilized, you know? I'd like to see them doing more stuff. I'd like to see them advertising things on TV more. Um, for instance, what if uh, instead of that fucking ugly, creepy looking sham wow guy, what if it was Stone Cold Steve Austin? <laughs> what the hell we got here? <laughs> sham wow? Hell. This looks like a good product. It dirt stains out, sweat stains, blood stains, damn. You know, you're going to spend 20 to $30 on paper towels alone. What are you, a stupid son of a bitch? <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. If you think ShamWow is a fine product, then give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! ShamWow is the best thing going, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> Another one of my favorites is The Undertaker. I love The Undertaker, and I think he'd be a good man to sell some car insurance, you know what I mean? Like maybe Allstate? If you need good car insurance, you want a very small, limited liability, and a very small deductible, you should get Allstate insurance. If you invest with Allstate, you will rest in peace. <laughs> and of course, how can you have any wrestlers selling anything without the great one? That's right, The Rock. <laughs> The Rock is here to tell his millions and millions of fans that they should get their ass down to the supermarket and buy Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix. It's simply the best pancake mix on the market. Don't be a jabroni. Know your role. Get out and buy Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix. Check out of that Smackdown Hotel. Sir, you there, what is your name? Uh, well, it my... doesn't matter what your name is! <laughs> the only thing that matters is you buy Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix. <laughs> if you smell... <laughs> what the rock is griddling. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys. Great <laughs> for the Reverend Mike Orgo. Have a wonderful evening. Mike Gorgo, everybody!